I'm hungry for some W's today. Yo, what's going on Leafer Nation? It's Leafer back again and welcome back to the channel and we are here with episode 5 of Monopoly Hut. Um, and last episode went very well actually in terms of um, packs and uh, games. We won both games, got a Victor Hedman. Today we're itching for some more packs and uh, hopefully some more upgrades. So we're getting right into it today, right to the board. Uh, we're hoping for the dice uh, or the board to give us something good here. Uh, what we can see here is pink slips, um, packs, chance, and buy any player. This is the potential we have uh, for this roll. So here we go, rolling for the first time this episode, and we get a four. So a four is open up three premium packs. Um, I don't mind it. At the end of the day, packs are packs. We get three of these premium packs. We're hoping for something good here. Uh, we have three. I think this is the most we've ever opened in one sitting in terms of rolling the dice on the board. So three packs is a lot of packs. We're hoping for something good. Connor McMichael isn't great. Not going to help the team out. So we're again, we're looking for those upgrades from these packs. Nathan Beaulieu ain't it, Chief. We get a coach with balance, which isn't too bad. Uh, I think we actually do need him. And we get a Pavel Buchnevich, the newest St. Louis Blue, who they are off to a buzzing start. We get a Pavel Buchnevich. 82 overall, right-handed or right uh, wing left-handed player. That is going to be an upgrade to the team. So first premium pack pays off. That is for damn sure. Welcome to the team, Pavel Buchnevich. All right, two more of these to go here. Um, an 82, not too bad, man. These packs are giving out a little bit more today, so we like that. Brandon Davidson not going to help out the team. Something else here would be great, but a Buchnevich we cannot complain with. Dmitry Orlov, who we already have, but it's good to have these 80 pluses for um, the sets um, to get done like uh, when they come out. So the Superstar Origins, you know, you need 80 pluses to upgrade the team. So we get Dimitri Orlov, we already have him, uh, but it's another 80 plus, that's not bad, man. So we will definitely take that. And now we have one more to go um, and we're hoping and praying for another 80 plus. It would be nice if we don't, it's okay. These packs have given out so far, but one more would be nice, not gonna lie to you. So here we go, let's keep it going. We get a King's Jersey. Uh, is that Andre? Andre Schuster is still playing hockey. Good for him. Anything else? No. All right. Not too bad. Hey, a Pavel Buchnevich. It's an upgrade. That's what we wanted. We asked for it and EA delivered. So what we're going to do here, Carter Hage is going to go on center. He has one better face off than Alexander Kerfoot. And Kerfoot will be coming out of the lineup for Mr. Pavel Buchnevich. The team's looking better. That's a plus two upgrade there. Uh, we're going to leave Buchnevich is there. So we got Buchnevich. Uh, Carter Verhage and connect me on the line, which is not too bad. I like the way that looks. All right, so we also have to complete five sets, which I ended up doing. So as you can see, 750 coins from that. It's always good to have coins. And we completed something here, which is a base pack. So we have a bunch of packs to open. We actually have six packs to open. They ain't the greatest. We got some mini packs and base packs, and I think maybe one or two premiums, one premium. So we got a two gold players pack. We'll start off with this. If we pull something here, hey, extra upgrades as we do pull something here adrian kempe uh he was actually a beast for me last year in the monopoly hut series and i'm excited that we have him again so it's going to be interesting to use him welcome to the team adrian kempe we'll move on to the mini pack five items at least one player we'll skip this because i doubt there's going to be anything chilling in here sean chambers and that's it so like i said i figured there's going to be nothing in there and now we got a bunch of base packs to open that's a tradable one so we'll wait for that one we'll skip these again like i said i don't expect anything from these base packs if they if they give out that's great brett richie doesn't really help with the team there so no worries we have two more of these base packs here uh last one of the two let's see what we can get from this one nothing yep nothing and we have one more base pack and then a premium pack which is tradable as well i believe so uh, maybe there's something in that that premium pack you just never know dude um chad rude wheel won't help us out uh, Oliver Wallstrom won't help us out as, uh, at all, I don't think, actually, uh, which is actually crazy to say because we actually have a pretty decent forward core now. And now we got a premium pack. I'm not going to skip this one. Uh, so let's see what we can get here. Thomas Raffle, come on. Something big here would be absolutely amazing. And I don't think there's going to be anything. That is so tough. So it is that time for Chris Tierney to come out of the lineup. I actually really enjoyed using him, but I think Adrian Kempe is absolutely going to be amazing for us. He was amazing for us last year. I really did enjoy his card. Uh, he looks good. 70 face-offs, which isn't the greatest, but I think he will be a good card. So there's our upgrades in Adrian Kempe and Pavel Buchnevich. Without further ado, let's head into the first game of the episode. And now that we have a well-rounded coach before we head into a game, we're going to have 
our first synergy activated, which is actually pretty cool. So we have well rounded activated, which is going to give plus two endurance, plus three defensive awareness and offensive awareness, and plus two wrist shot to Panarin and Muzzin. Um, I guess that's our backup goaltender and Carter Verhage. So not too bad. That's our first ever synergy activated here. That's great. First game here against Straw Hack Crew. He's got Eden and Matthews, 88 dry settle, and I believe that was X Factor McKinnon. He's got a good team. Is he a good player? That's the question, though. Hopefully not. I want to win. All right, boys, let's go. We got a couple debuts on the team for this game. We're hoping for the best here. We get tied up to start, and this isn't a great start here. And that just went in, and uh, things you absolutely hate to see. We're down one nothing already. Uh, probably the worst start I've ever had in an episode. 88 uh, McKinnon, 86 Kucherov, 88 Drysaitl. This kid's a hut nerd. All right, not a good start. We'll be fine here. I'm not too, too worried. I think we're just going to be fine. He already took a penalty, so... Hopefully we can capitalize on that. Let's get something going here, though. I see you, Ricard Raquel. To the middle. You read that. That's fine. We still have it. To the point. Beautiful. Rasmus Anderson. I wanted it to Victor Hedman. Kempe got in the way. That's fine. We got a power play. Let's convert. You, you got this, Buchnevich. That's your puck. Out of boy. Love the battle in Buchnevich. Great start to his debut. Take a shot in Pavel Buchnevich. What a shift from him. We convert on the power play. 1-1. I did not expect that to go in. I'm a big fan of Buchnevich so far. Good start to his debut. Good poke from Justin Hall, dude. Justin Hall, I'm telling you, this Hall-Muzzin pairing is actually so beautiful to play with in-game. That's a big save from Shashtek. And this guy's got a good team, man. Like an actual good team. Another great poke. He still has it, though. And that's a goal because why isn't it a goal? Because that is the glitch goal this year. 2-1 hockey game, Jack Eichel from team builder Nicholas Jalmerson. When I say this guy has a good team, he has a good team. Buchnevich at it again. Across. Oh, my. Buchnevich is buzzing, and I absolutely love it. Rasmus Anderson. Let's go. Bang. There it is. What a play from Rasmus Anderson to Igor. I'm not going to pronounce your last name. 2-2 hockey game. We tie it up once again. Good stuff, boys. Get the first line out here. Let's keep it going. Looking at the stats, it's an even hockey game, man. He's a good player with a really good team, and I'll show you what I mean when he has a good team. 85 Jalmerson, 88 McKinnon. We see these guys already. 86 Cooch, uh, Base Eichel, 86 Malkin, Giroux, uh, Carlson. Who does he have in net? Connor Halbuck at an 85. It's a really good team, man. We're going to have to fight for this win. There you go, Kempe. Where's this puck? It's bouncing everywhere. And Jake Muzzin is gone. Let's go. I need someone with him. It's fine. Jake Muzzin's got this. What a save. That was a good take from Jake Muzzin. Now Justin Hall to Panarin. What a save, dude. And my internet. I don't know. I, we lost connection. I don't want to say this my internet because my internet is absolutely fine. And I, I believe we got the loss for that, which is absolutely just horrendous. Thank you. I don't even think that game counted. We'll go check our record. I, I don't. I actually don't know. If we got the loss or the win for that, or if it just didn't count. I mean, we completed 80 passes, which is 850 coins, which is nice. Um, but if that game counted, I, I'm not too sure if it actually really did or not. 6-6-0. Six, six oh. When do we lose six games? Maybe that game did count and we got a loss for that. I, I'm not 100% sure. My internet is fine. Uh, so weird. I guess uh, we're going to chalk that up as a game. And we chalk it up as a loss. And we head back to the board and roll the dice again. I'm... I'm a little mad. I'm not going to lie to you. I, I don't get that. So we last left off on three premium packs. Looking at the board here, a one is chance, two is binding player, three binding special card, four is bankrupt. Let's not roll a four, five is second chance, and six is five packs. We can get a six, man. Um, that's five packs to be opened, which would be nice. We've opened up a lot of packs so far. More packs, the merrier is what I like to say. So here we go. Rolling the dice for the second and last time this episode. Roll again. And we get a one. So a one is chance. Let, let me go get the envelope. So here is our scuffed chance envelope, as you can see. It says chance on here. Um, Yeah, it's scuffed. It, we need to make this better. We will try to. But here we go. We're mixing it all up. We're going to get a paper. We have one in our hands. Let's see what it says. Open three premium packs. I do not mind that, as you can see it on camera here. Let's go open up three more premium packs. So let's head to the store head into it last time we opened up three premium packs we got pavel buchnevich who was amazing in that game despite the connection the disconnection from the dumb servers so anyways three premium packs let's see what these premium packs can hold for us hopefully something good matt murray don't really need a goaltender 
um, but it's an 80 plus we'll take it 750 coins so we continue to up our coin balance here we get a 78 San Jose player and that's it in that premium pack all right two more here hoping for something good an X Factor player would be amazing too it'd be sick to pull one in the series so let's see what we can get Let's keep it going here. Something great would be nice here. That's a sick uh, reading, a Royals jersey. Jersey number 69, very nice. And that's gonna be it, eh? Cool. And last and final pack of the video. We're gonna skip it. Hope for something good here. And it looks like there's nothing. Miko Lednin and, and Chatfield. All right, that's that, that was fun. Second game of the episode, Matthews Pasta Radulov against Dirty Dogs. Hopefully we don't disconnect this time and hopefully we win. Simple as that. Here we are boys, Monahan, Raquel, and Limblom to start off the game. As per usual, let's get a W boys. Good move, Jake Muzzin, absolute shutdown again. Continuing his ways from last game, just shutting it down. There we go, what a pass to Connor. Kyle Connor, beautiful, across the Panarin. Oh my goodness. Connor, oh, I, we should have probably passed that across, man. That could have been an upgrade for either of those guys there. There you go. Over the hole, good pass. Good LT. To Vadanen, what a play, dude. Waited up for Vadanen. Oh, we, we were gonna dunk too. Not gonna lie to you, we were definitely gonna dunk that. Ricard Raquel, off, he's off, let's go. Take it to the net, what a poke, dude. Can I get a bump there? My goodness, wow, dude. We read that too, good good stuff, let's go. Let's go Brady Kachuk. Good stop up. Take the puck, oh my god, nice try. Good poke. Good move, let's take a shot before the period ends. All right, interesting period to say the least. Looking at the stats, we are playing a little bit better than him. I just feel like I can't get anything going for some reason. We're gonna try to have a better period. We need to have a better period next one. Good poke, it still gets to him. What a play by Anderson. Good stuff on that two on one. Ricard Raquel, good passing to the point. Rasmus Anderson, over to Victor Hedman. It's a good save. Oh my God, that got through Victor Hedman. What? I need to see a replay. I, I'm not buying that. Look at this guy's team, dude. I, I'm not buying that that got through Victor Hedman. I played that perfectly. I went down in that LB for a reason. And it got through his legs. That is very unfortunate. one 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 one, one nothing hockey game. I don't even know how it's one nothing. I don't. Dude, he just like he's just shooting it and it's going in now. That's two goals on two shots. Horrible stuff, man. I do not agree with what's going on in this game at all. Let's go, Kachuk. Out of front. Yeah, okay, of course not. Got a boy Monahan. Over to Raquel. Raquel was going behind the net for some reason instead of staying out front where he could have just had a top in. And Rasmus Anderson can't do anything. Good save. Horrible period, and I feel like we're not even playing that bad. I hate it here. Get it across. His AI is back checking on me. That wasn't even him. Like he was covering pass and the guy coming back was getting it for him. And a boy Connor across. Yep, no, nope, that won't work out for me. Dump and chase hockey, there we go. Kachuk did not turn the way I wanted him to. It's fine though, it works out. It's a two one hockey game. Less than nine to go. We can tie this up. I, I, I'm better than this guy, I know it. Sammy Vadanen, take a shot. That gets blocked. Play right to John Marino. What a save, dude. We were trying to pick that corner. We picked it. Just the goaltender saved it. Across. Lindblom, what a save, bro. Actually, what a save. Who does he have in net? Because we're just getting robbed by him, dude. I'm just noticing now, and I don't even know who it is. And they gave me the wrong player to control because player switching is so bad. Player switching is atrocious in NHL 22. I'm going to die on that hill. Poke checks and player switching. Two things that need to be just changed in this game. There you go, Kempe. There you go, Kempe. My God, we needed a better shot than that, Kemps. Yep, that's game. That is the most annoying hockey game I've ever played on this game. What are you giving me an achievement for? What, what, what are you giving me an achievement for? That was a horrible game. Honestly, I need to shoot more, I guess. I don't know. Like, time on attack, we played way better than him. I, I, I'm pretty heated that we lost that game. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm, I'm not happy. 
Um, I, what are we going to stop coming up against great teams, dude? And Div 6, maybe 7? I don't know. I'm annoyed. Who did he have in net? John Gibson. We got robbed by John Gibson. I'm heated. We completed an objective that game, apparently. What for? Uh, I, I don't know. Score three goals. Nice. All right. Well, it is what it is. We lost that game. Yeah. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today's Monopoly HUD episode. If you guys did enjoy it, be sure to drop a like on it. If you guys are new around here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Um, I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty heated that we lost both games this episode. First game, we potentially should have won. Second game, I think we should at least pushed ot it is what it is we lost to this episode it happens um we just gotta hope for upgrades next episode pretty much because my team cannot keep up with other people's teams especially in div 6 apparently anyways guys like i said that is it for today's video thank you guys very much for watching i'll talk to you guys later peace